morning, people. I know you've missed me for a couple of days. It's okay. I'm still here. I've just been like, honestly, I just took two days off. And the reason I didn't really vlog because I was at home for like two, three days straight. All I've been doing is like catching up on all my like editing work. And look, I'm almost done. I have like, hold on, I wrote it down on my cell phone. Um, one, two, I have five more things to do and I'm done for the year. As in like, including all the new stuff because all the new stuff that I shot like this past weekend, I actually edited all those and I've delivered them too. These are just five things that I need to like finish editing hopefully in the next two, three days. Once I'm done, I am done for the year. As in like, unless if I have any new shooting, which I kind of do, damn it. I have a shooting on Saturday uh, and I have a music video coming up next week and I have a commercial being shot the week after. Besides those three things, I don't have anything else to edit, but which is great because like all I wanted to do was get rid of all the previous stuff just so I can, when I shoot the new things, I can just focus on that. So that's my goal. Um, anyways, that's why I have a mid volume. Sorry, but uh, I'm gonna get back on track starting hopefully tomorrow. Goal is to hit up the gym tomorrow. Today, I woke up late. It's like 12, 1220 right now. I have to be out of my house by 4 p.m. anyway, so I'm not gonna really have time to go to the gym because I have a lot of work to do before I head out. But anyways, just keeping up to date. But we're going to the POS Cali tonight, so I'm a little excited. I want to see, you know, how the setup and everything else is. And I'm excited to meet some people and etc. So it should be good. So I'll do some graphic designing. Went outside to look at the snow and found my Amazon packages are here. Okay. Let me turn the camera around. Snow can screw up everything and everybody. But snow cannot screw up my Amazon packages, which is awesome. Okay, so I'll tell you what happened. I bought this. Hey, where'd that thing go? Okay, so I bought this battery pack thing online and it's like cool. It has like, you know, 27,000 milliamps, which is a lot of power in a battery pack. And you can actually plug in like, it has like a wall outlet in it, like a wall socket. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm like, that's awesome. I definitely need to start keeping that in my backpack, especially since I'm going to be like doing my computer work wherever I go. Like that's how my life is gonna be. I've already purchased all my little accessories that I need to do, where I'm literally gonna be carrying one of my like, I wouldn't call it old, well it's like three, four years old, but this backpack is like the elite backpack of like all the companies. It's a, a, a Verki brand and they call it like the Rolls Royce of backpacks because it's really well made and it's like waterproof, scratch proof, whatever. Anyways, so I bought the battery pack and I was like, okay, cool, I'll just keep that in my bag. But look at the size of this thing. It's like bigger than my head. Like that's how big it is. Like this is the size of an iPad. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Why the hell would I get that? And the only reason it's that big is because you can, you know, it, you you can plug things in like the wall socket stuff. So I'm like, that's just ridiculous. Um, and now, then I was like, okay, well, let me think about it. Then I was like, hey, wait a second. My new laptop that's coming is actually going to be charged via USB-C. So I'm not even gonna be using like the old MacBook chargers where you need to plug it into the wall, right? Like you can actually just charge that from a battery bank or a battery pack. So here is a small battery pack that I got. Same thing, 27,000 milliamps. The other thing was like 200 bucks. This is like 50 bucks. So like one fourth of the price and look at the size. I'm just gonna keep this in my backpack. I can actually charge out of this. I can charge my phone, my iPad, but I don't have my iPad anymore, but uh, my MacBook, which is the biggest thing. Like if I can charge my laptop through this, I get like twice or three times the battery or this can charge my laptop a time and a half, which is great. Um, and also like, you know, like these battery chargers that I have for my uh, cameras they all charge via USB as well. So I can actually portably charge everything. And then um, all my cameras, I was like, oh, how the hell am I gonna use all my cameras and stuff? Because my cameras are in like this big suitcase thing. So I was like, okay, let me see what I can do. Ended up going online, buying all these like small sleeves and cases for the camera. So I can like, basically I can walk around with one body camera with me at all times and like two lenses in my backpack that'll just sit there and they'll be in its clay, uh, case slash sleeve and it'll be scratch free, ding free and I can like drop it and it won't break so I'm pretty excited because now I can basically walk around the goal is like to walk around with my laptop um, with an extra mouse mm, I don't think I need an extra keyboard I could take another wireless keyboard because I have an extra one at home so take all those things 
and I can take my camera with me at all times and just have it on me. And the reason I'm doing that is because like when I go for my vacation in January, I definitely do not want to take my big camera bag because there's, it's just going to take up too much space. Um, and it's, I don't want to take all my equipment either, but this backpack is like a godsend. So super excited. So I was in the middle of getting ready, but now I got to totally pick up my mom. So I'm going to the hospital to pick her up. For that, I have to clean a little bit of snow outside. So unfortunately, I won't be able to leave my house then. Alrighty, so we're walking to the POS gala, and it is like the snow on the ground. It looks like Tati. <laughs> <laughs> the snow on the ground looks like Tati. Thank God I wore sneakers because I can't wear. Oh, oh my God, Ramen almost fell. You go with the slowies and you walk inside. So here we are at the POS gala. Check it out. We got people on stilts. Yes, I'm sweating a little bit, but walking around, walking around. I'm gonna go and we're get a picture taken soon. Check it out. It looks cool. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this couple. Oh I God. swear to God, they look like they're about to get married. You know, I got this dress like three hours before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, all right, so we're doing, we're doing the photo booth with this guy right here. Can you guys come in? So we got a table, it's pretty far from the stage, but whatever. Oh look, like the setup is actually pretty legit. I actually really like this red and black theme. It's actually a really nice color. So the party was awesome. Shout out to Harp and Shannon and for Harp Reed as well for planning this whole thing and they made it work. Um, congratulations on 2016 for them and obviously can't wait to see what 2017 has in store for them and for everybody actually. Um, and yeah, but now I am at Sorry Memorial because um, one of my friends who came with me, she wasn't feeling good over there and which I wasn't even aware of till like about an hour later that she um, like she called the ambulance. Ambulance came to the hall, picked her up, brought her to the emergency um, and now she's here. So we didn't know but as soon as we found out we left. So now we're just here and we're trying to see what's going on. I don't know how my night's gonna turn out. <laughs> no, this is the end of the night. <laughs> so finally I'm home now, I'm a little tired. I'm actually pretty tired as well, like 3.30 in the morning. So anyways, thanks for tuning in tonight and I will see you tomorrow.